Is this you? Can you recall a time that you got out of work late, you went to bed late, and wake up early for school, and by the next, by the time you were to work again, you were dragging your feet? Do you remember how miserable you felt? This was because college students are exhausted. As a result of this, students are being hospitalized. Um, sleep deprivation can cause illness, hallucination, and a weakened immune system. This is Carolyn, the story of Carolyn Walworth. She was a dual enrollment student going to high school and college at the same time. She was so exhausted that she eventually ended up being hospitalized, medicated on antidepressants and medication that caused her to be more energetic. This is due to the lack of sleep she was getting. Also, students are failing. Some students feel like there's not enough hours in a day to balance school, work, and sleep. There is actually a direct relation between your grades and the amount of hours of sleep you get. There is a graph from the University of California, Berkeley, in 2017, and here you can see that um, the people who got under five hours of sleep had a lower GPA than people who got seven hours or more. And that's because there is a direct relation between the amount of sleep you get and um, your grades. Also, students are dropping out. Some students feel like it's impossible to balance school and work, and they would rather work and go to school than experience extreme stress. This is Kyla Wallstrom. She's a senior researcher of adolescent sleep from the University of Minnesota. Um, she said, was well, sleep deprivation has a direct impact on school dropout rates. Until more school administrators take action on this important issue, parents and teens should work together to prevent sleep deprivation. Now, what she means by this is that um, through her research, she found that there really is a connection between people dropping out and not getting enough sleep. And until something is done about it, it's on us to solve the issue. So what can we do? You can try to get eight hours of sleep. Let's say you go to school four hours a day, and then you work eight hours, and then you have four hours for like grooming, eating, and relaxation. That leaves eight hours to get some rest. Or you can buy Monster Energy. Um, it gives you instant energy. It's affordable and accessible. Um, it takes about five minutes to kick in. You can purchase it at Walmart, and you can get one can for $2.50. Now, let's think for a second. Imagine you get out of work late, and you get into bed late. You have to wake up early the next morning for school, and then after class, you have to go straight to work. Can you imagine how exhausted and tired you would feel? Now, let's say the night before, you had gotten your car, driven to Walmart, you went down aisle four, and you purchased Monster Energy for $2.50. Now, let's try this again. Let's say you wake up, you drink Monster Energy, you feel refreshed, you go to class, and you get an A on your math test, and you're, you go to work, and your boss actually says, good job, because you're doing such a good work. Now imagine how happy and successful you will feel. So tonight, I want you to get in the car, drive to Walmart, and go down aisle four. I want you to pick up one Monster Energy. I want you to go to the cash register, pay the $2.50, and notice the results. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Is there someone else?